Hello everyone, welcome to another Ismono Raw video. Thank you all for all of your patience. I'm currently still working on this big project, so I only have time for these Ismono Raw videos. And today we are looking at the Bellroy Apex Slim Sleeve. For those of you who don't know, these Ismono Raw videos are basically my way of creating content in those times where I just don't have time to make YouTube videos. These videos have just one camera angle, maybe a couple of edits, maybe one or two b-roll shots but just as much as information as possible about the item that i'm reviewing at the moment and yeah to have something to watch while i'm still busy before i can make a proper review video with all of that b-roll shots that you hopefully enjoy but i hope that you enjoyed this video as well so now let's go into the review of the bellroy apex slim sleeve Alright, welcome to this Ismono Raw review of the Bellroy Apex Slim Sleeve in the pepper blue colorway. Uh, many of you, or at least those of you who watch my videos on a regular basis, know that my favorite wallet is the Secret Wallet or the Extra Wallet because of this very cool mechanism which makes getting to your cards much easier. Furthermore, this is an aluminum casing. I don't want to open this up because there are my ATM cards and stuff like that inside. So yeah, this has this aluminum casing which makes the cards much more protected from RFID theft but also from breaking. I always keep my wallet in my front pocket because in my very 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 old wallet I used to sit on it and then my card broke one of them at least so that's why i switched to secret and to extra wallets and when moving over to the bellroy apex slim sleeve what i immediately noticed is that it is slimmer not by much but still enough to make it really comfortable in your front pockets and it's much more lightweight because there is no aluminium casing inside but it is rfid protected which is very important to me. All right, now going inside this Apex Slim Sleeve wallet, you can tell this is the blue version, pepper outside, blue inside. You don't have that many slots in here. This is like the extra wallet. This is supposed to be a slim and minimalist wallet. So you have two slots in the front for your most needed cards. I actually had five cards on this side and three cards on this side together with the bills to which I come in a second. I still like to carry around some cash. I usually pay with my ATM card, but I like to carry some cash if there are some places that don't accept my cards. So I usually have my ATM card, my most needed card in this slot and my driver's license on this side. Then you have another slot where you can pull on this tab and get to a couple of more cards. I had four cards here, like my credit card, insurance card and stuff like that. So cards that I only occasionally need, but I need to carry them with me anyways. So that's in this side. And as you can tell, it's, it's not as quick. You kind of pull out this tab and then you rummage around and try to find the card that you need, take that and yeah, use to pay or to identify yourself. It's okay. And those are the cards that you don't need that often. The most important cards are in these two slots, but still, I kind of still prefer this mechanism for the convenience and the quickness of it. Then on the other side, you have another slot for some more cards. No specific place for bills. You are basically supposed to store your bills in one of these slots. And I tended to keep them in this slot because it's just easier to access and to actually see that you have some cash with you. What I noticed is that once you have some bills in there, the magnetic closing, there is a magnet in here somewhere that closed, you, as you can tell here, it's not closing properly. These are 25 euros folded up and then it gets a little bit bulky. I mean, here in the extra you have this band and once you store a couple of bills here, it won't close that properly either. However, 
since this has a magnetic closing, I feel like it just feels kind of weird if it doesn't close properly and if it's a little bit bulked up like this. It's just an aesthetic thing. It's nothing major where you can say like, okay, that's a reason why I won't buy this, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. If you carry around a lot of bills, then a slim wallet isn't for you anyways. Then a billfold or something like that would be better suited for you. But if you only carry a couple of bills with you, then I guess this is fine. From a construction standpoint, I have been using this for about a month now and I was kind of worried or in the beginning I was thinking about if these kind of seams I think this is glued or heat bonded or something like that. If these would actually like tear apart or fray apart at some point, or if this would kind of cut into itself after some years. After my use, nothing happened. This holds up pretty well, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty confident with Bellroy's production quality, durability, and all of the materials that I are using. So I wouldn't really worry about it too much. But yeah, it's, it's still something that the first time I unpacked it, I wondered if this would get loose at some point or if I wouldn't be very careful or keep like getting my cards out and then fiddle it in, then trying to fit it in again. I don't know. If this would break or tear at some point, not really sure about that. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the build quality and the, it's holding up. As I mentioned, almost a month I have been using this. And I feel like this will age very nicely and look great. I mean, this is a slim wallet. There's not that much that I can tell about it. You can fit a lot of cards in here. So I have uh, five on this side now, three on this side keep in mind if you have like a credit card with raised numbers on it those count as two cards from my experience but if you don't have cards with raised numbers then you can fit at least eight cards in here and then a couple of bills will i keep using this as you can tell i already switched all my cards back here i mean obviously for the video i switched to these blank cards for privacy reasons but besides that i will go back to the extra wallet because i just like that mechanism much better however just having this very slim and lightweight wallet for the last few weeks i can see that this is great this is a great wallet if you don't need this mechanism if you don't carry that many bills with you. I think this is a great wallet that I can highly recommend. It just feels like nothing in your pocket. And yeah, from my experience with Bellroy, what they're making, I think their build quality is great. And this is the only thing that I would worry a little bit over many years, but not from a short term perspective. So yeah, if you're looking for a slim wallet for eight cards, you don't carry that many bills, you don't want this fancy <laughs> quote unquote mechanism, then I can recommend the Bellroy Apex Slim Wallet. All right, thank you so much for watching this it's more a raw video. I admit it was a little bit all over the place. This is just a review of a very simple slim sleeve for just a couple of cards, not that much to it. I was rambling a little bit. So thank you for watching until this point. And yeah, I would love to know from you, what's your favorite wallet at the moment? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you have any more questions, also comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Also check out my Instagram at you know the bow. And yeah, I see you in the next videos. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Thank you very much.